For the first time in about a decade, our water levels on Lake Michigan have now dropped below the long-term average. So back in 2014, it was the most recent lowest. That was at 577 feet. And then we started to surge by June 2020. We smashed some all-time highest records, and then we saw the drop again. In fact, just this season, we are once again below that long-term average. Now, Lake Michigan always fluctuates, but what we've been noticing is we're seeing those steeper rises and those bigger drops in a shorter, shorter period of time more recently, which is so interesting. Now, that amount of data might not have seemed uh, impressive, but if we actually look at it visually, you you can see what we mean. I mean, a few inches can make a huge difference when it comes to docks, not even on Lake Michigan, but on Lake Makatawa and some of those ports or channels that are feeding into Lake Michigan. So a few inches makes all the difference with water levels on the big lake. And if we look at this graphically, you can see again, the drop in 2014, huge surge in 2020, and the recent drop. The reason why we've seen this is just such dry conditions lately. We've had dry conditions from September through February. We've got drought inland. We also had record low ice coverage for the 2023-24 season. And just this season, we also had warmest water temperatures on Lake Michigan. So all that adds to the evaporation. Okay, here's the good news and the answer to the Ask Ellen. Are we expecting it to rise? We should. It looks like April is going to be leaning wetter than average and potentially near average temperature-wise.